Welcome back to Fox 17 Unfiltered. Earth Day is celebrated each and every year to honor the achievements of the environmental movement in addition to raising awareness as to why we need to protect our Earth for future generations. The first Earth Day was held on April 22nd, 1970. Up until 1970, inefficient automobiles and unregulated companies produced air and water pollution at a widespread level. Groups that were fighting individually against oil spills, polluting factories and power plants, in addition to toxic dumps and more joined together during Earth Day. This day united people from all walks of life with all the same mission in mind, helping our planet. By the end of 1970, the first Earth Day led to the creation of the United States Environmental Protection Agency, along with the passage of several environmental laws. Today, Earth Day is still just as prominent, and so is the fight against keeping our environment clean and safe. If you're hoping to let your vo voice be heard, there's an opportunity in downtown Grand Rapids this weekend. I sat down with Janet Zahn, the co-chair for the Grand Rapids Climate Coalition, to talk about the Earth Day March this Saturday, put on by a group of local organizations. There'll be some speech speakers and a few tables where you can get some information about local organizations who are doing climate work. And then we'll take a little stroll. We'll end up back there again. And um, it's an opportunity to both celebrate Earth Day and, and be grateful for this beautiful planet that we live on. And also to mobilize people to call for stronger climate action. We know that there's a lot that still needs to be done. And um, when people get together and lift a single voice for um, the same issue, then we have a bigger impact. And that's what we're hoping for. The march begins at Rosa Park Circle in downtown Grand Rapids, lasting from noon until 2 p.m. It's a free community event with ways that you can get involved on helping our earth. Also, from 4 p until 6 p.m., local experts will be available to discuss climate solutions at Books and Mortar. If you can't make either event, making steps towards helping our planet goes beyond Saturday. I would say the most important thing you can do is let your voice be known. Uh, your elected officials are in the office they're in to do the work for you. And I think it is an engaged community that can make a difference. So don't be shy. Talk to your city commissioners, your county commissioners, your elected officials, and let them know this matters to you. For more information, head to our website, fox17online.com. For Fox 17 Unfiltered, I'm meteorologist Haley Vaughn.